Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make laundry parcel. So these are the raw materials that I'm going to be using. I have palm oil, caustic soda, water, soda ash, sodium silicate, CDE, glycerin, perfume and dye. So I'm going to be making a one liter formulation. And these are the raw materials. These are the measurements of the raw materials. So I have 600 milliliters of palm oil, 60 grams of caustic soda, 270 milliliters of water, 30 grams of soda ash, 30 milliliters of sodium silicate, 5 milliliters of uh, CDE, and 5 milliliters of glycerin. And then the perfume and dye I'm going to be using according to my preferences. <music> so i already have, have the raw materials measured out this is 600 milliliters of palm oil 270 milliliters of water 60 grams of caustic soda 30 grams of uh, soda ash 30 milliliters of sodium silicate this is 5 milliliters of CDE 5 milliliters of, of uh, 5 milliliters of glycerin then this is 10 milliliters of perfume Again, I'm not going to be using any dye for this formulation that's optional as well Okay, so the first step, what I'm going to do before I, I go to the palm oil, I'm going to dissolve the soda ash into the water. So this is 30 grams of soda ash. I'm going to dissolve it into the water. So this helps, it's a cleaning agent. So this improves the our cleaning, our cleaning capability of our bar soap. So I'm going to dissolve the soda ash into the water. Okay, so this is the water and soda ash. Now I'm going to add the sodium silicate. 30 milliliters of sodium silicate. So I'm making a cold process soap. So, uh, so this is different from when you heat up your oils and the water. So this is cold process. Just have to make sure that everything is completely dissolved. Okay, now add my CDE. So the purpose of the sodium silicate, the one I mixed before, is to harden the bar soap. So it's the one that's going to help with improving our drying time or queuing time. So it's going to shorten that process of queuing. So it's going to make it like uh, dry. It's going to make the bar soap to dry up quicker. So this is the CDE that I'm adding now. So this one is for form. It's going to improve the form of our bar soap.
Okay, and then now I'm going to add in the glycerin. Five milliliters of glycerin. So this helps with moisturizing the skin. So let's say you come in contact with the bar soap. It doesn't leave your skin too dry. This is five milliliters of glycerin. And then now then the next step is for me to add the caustic soda into the water and then we pour it into our palm oil and also I have my perfume but I'm not going to add the perfume now I look a bit later on so now I'm going to pour the caustic soda into the water mixture I'm going to stir. So it's important to know that the, the water is going to heat up because it reacts to the caustic. So you need to stir until you make sure that everything is completely dissolved. I'm going to give it a stir and then make sure that everything is dissolved before I move on to mixing this mixture with the palm oil. Okay, and then I'm going to be using a mold as well. So this is where I'm going to pour our, our bar soap. So this is 600 milliliters palm oil. So now I'm going to pour the caustic, the water mixed with everything that we were mixing into the palm oil. There's a little bit of caustic that is not yet dissolved. OK, 
Okay, so now I'm going to pour this mixture into the palm oil. And then you'll notice the saponification process start taking place. Okay, then now I'll start stirring. So you'll notice the mixture starting to thicken and trace up. I'm going to add my perfume. So I think now it's ready to be poured into our mold. And then we'll let it dry up. Okay guys, so this is the bar soap. So I'm going to leave it out to dry and then once it's dried, I will show you the final. Okay, so I'll show you once the bar soap is dried and then I've cut it as well. Okay, hello guys. So here is our dried up bar soap. So now I'm going to take it out of the mold and then I'm going to cut it.
just to use our bar soap so it's a little bit wet it hasn't completely dried up yet but there you have it so i'm just going to do a water test to show you how it is Okay, so there you have it. This is all bar soap. So I'm going to leave out the the bars to dry up. I think for like three weeks probably they can be completely dried. So you can use your custom molds. The custom mold, I just use this one for the, <clears throat> to mold the bar soaps, I use this. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you.